other questions about that? Yeah. All right, let's talk about physical changes now that we know what enthalpy is. Okay, we have standard MOB changes of transitions. Here we're talking about physical changes, so changing phases basically. I think your book refers to this as that. What they are are enthalpy changes associated with physical changes. Somebody give me an example of a physical change. Crinkle in the paper. Still paper in the end. I know. I crinkle it a lot, I think. I'm, so, I'm happy. It wasn't ice melting. I always get that one. I don't know why. Is it, is it supposed to be like about phase changes, or is that different? I'm sorry, what was that? Is it supposed to be about phase changes, or not specifically? It's, about, it's mainly about phase changes, but it okay. It could be like how we were talking about those polymorphs changing. There, there's different transitions that way too. I think I remember in Gen Chem we did this with like phase changes or something. Yeah, yeah, where you have a phase change diagram. Yeah. Yep. It's all related to that too. I know all goes back to Gen Chem. You had to use a couple of them or one of them for your daily problem. What phase transition did you have to use? You have water boiling, which is known as heat of what? Heat of vaporization. So that one's uh, delta H of vapor. And then there's another one, too, that we talk a lot about. Heat of fusion. I've never liked that name. When I think of fusion, I think of atomic fusion. But we keep it for some reason. Let's talk about those. This is so hot I said, like, oh, I'm glad we didn't talk about like ice melting. We're gonna talk about ice melting. Maybe that's why I wanted something different. We can talk about sulfur melting, that's cool. Does anyone ever burn sulfur? Okay. Yeah, we get a chance to. It makes a really cool blue flame and it turns to a liquid very, very easily under that heat. Let's talk about heat fusion first. What physical state are we talking about here? Going from what to what? Other way around. Solid to liquid. Okay. We actually have a lot of intuition about this already. We're just indicating the temperature there. Okay. Sign. Will energy enter or leave the system to make this happen? Yeah, you gotta heat ice up to make it melt. So what should the sign be? Yeah. Anybody know the value of it? Impressed. 
XL1 until it equals to one. The question, what is delta H for H2O liquid going to H2O solid? Yep, same thing but negative. Delta H for this would be de negative delta H. Fusion would be negative 6. The beauty of phase changes is, is nothing chemical is going on. You can just flip the sign and you're good to go. When there are chemical things that happen, that's where you have to worry a little bit more about the conditions. Phone's telling me to shut up. Okay, heat of vaporization. What phase change are we talking about there? Yep. H2O liquid, H2O gas. It's actually two reported ones. Temperature does water boil? 100 degrees C. 100 degrees C. How much is that in Kelvin? Yeah. I also have a heat of vaporization at 298. The other kind of strange thing, which of the signs of this peak? Specifically, what? Sure. Uh -huh. Constant pressure and what pressure do you think? One atmosphere. Yeah, one atmosphere. Two different values here. Which one takes less energy? to think about that as we move through and hopefully within the next two weeks we'll be able to explain why. Okay. Are there any questions about anything we talked about today? Big stuff, enthalpy really matters on pressure. Gases are influenced by it so you can't always say internal energy and enthalpy are the same thing. We talked about some initial phase transitions. Um, that's all we really talked about. The daily problem that you guys have, we're pushing that off. Uh, one, everybody has a million things to study for, and two, we didn't get to where I want to today to talk about that. Lab reports, if you notice, I don't have your lab reports back to you yet. I'm hopefully gonna be able to stare at them and finish them this afternoon. Do people want to extend the due date for the labs? It is currently Sunday night at midnight. Anybody want to push it back? Monday or Tuesday night? To Monday or Tuesday night? Anybody have a preference? Monday night. Monday night? Okay. Push them back to Monday night. Yeah? 
So if you do finish grading them today, like yeah. will you email us so we can pick them up? Yes, I'll give them to you guys as soon as I, I can, or I'll see you tomorrow I'll give them to you, whatever you prefer. So they'll probably, if I, depends on how active I have to be in this meeting later. The other thing is, is my office hours, I have to push them an hour back today. I don't think I'll be available from 1.30 to 3.30 today. After 3.30, I should be okay. I might even be done before that. It's for John Antle's synopsis. I just have to be on Zoom to talk about that. Okay. You guys probably don't know who John is. He graduated a couple of years ago. Is up at UB finishing up his PhD. Okay. Any other questions? Oh, thanks, Lily. All right, have a good day. Study hard for your exams. And I'll see you guys tomorrow in the lab.